Uh, so hello everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so much Saba for the generous introduction. Uh, and thank you everyone for joining us and giving us your precious time, everyone. Uh, hope everybody is having a good time so far. Uh, without any further ado, I would like to jump into my main topic for today's session, which is Source Intelligently with SAP Ariba. To make this session more interactive, I would like to encourage everyone to share their questions and queries into the question section that you can see on your right side of the screen. If you have anything you want to speak about, you can always raise your hand and we will get back to you at the end of the session. So let's start. So the main agenda for today's session would be covering but not limited to the introduction of different SAP Ariba solutions, how different SAP Ariba solutions comes in play and how they benefit different organizations. What are the key pain points that organization face and how to cater those specific pain points with the help of SAP Ariba. Then we will go in depth and talk about numbers that SAP Ariba helps us with. So we will be discussing what are source to pay value levers. Then we will move toward SAP Ariba sourcing. We will start with a bit introduction of SAP Ariba sourcing. We will discuss the integrated sourcing process. We will go in depth on SAP Ariba discovery. We will see what sort of process flows are available in SAP Ariba, what sort of the organization get benefits from the SAP Ariba sourcing and how SAP Ariba sourcing is making life easy for almost 98 percent of four 500 companies and then definitely we're gonna go in depth uh, technically and discuss about the solution capabilities how modern dashboards how you know powerful user uh, universal search and what are the auction monitors what is actually sap ariba sourcing is when we talk technically then uh, at the end, we will discuss few uh, of our achievements, few of our clients, what were the problem they were facing and how we address those. We have also planned a short demo, uh, which once we discussed SAP Ariba sourcing, I will be demonstrating SAP Ariba sourcing integrated process flow. We show how RFQ get created, how you know uh, you send that RFP to suppliers, how you receive some responses from the suppliers. And then at the end, how you award your suppliers and create a PO in your ERP. That being said, let's move to the next slide, which is the pain point. So the organization all around the world were facing, uh, you know, different kind of problems. One was the failure in understanding the detail spend. And because of that failure, they were unable to identify and prioritize their saving opportunities. They were unable to identify and qualify appropriate supplier efficiently. Supplier KPIs was not maintained. Supplier risk was not mitigated. So these were the two problems that organization were facing before SAP Ariba. So the inadequate supplier onboarding and information process, uh, even if the organization had the supply inf uh, information and onboarding process, it was a long and tedious process. It was a very time consuming task. Then the lack of knowledgeable resources to drive process and categories best practices uh, was missing. So the organizations was not able to, you know, get the knowledgeable resources, not to use the best practices of SAP Ariba sourcing and X, Y, Z. Then there was a lack of market commodities and there was a lack of operational and contractual information. So you've been, you know, uh, you might do a contract with a, some uh, supplier and then you forget about it. It's on a paper and, you know, you were not going green with SAP Ariba. You got the opportunity to go green. So these were the few pain points that organizations were facing before SAP Ariba. Then SAP Ariba comes in play. These problem gave rise to SAP Ariba solutions. So this is the solution set available for SAP Ariba in different modules, different sections. So we have uh, supplier management, we have strategic sourcing, we have supply chain collaboration, we have procurement, and definitely we have a financial supply chain impacts. If we talk about suppliers, we have sell to settle process. And if we talk about buyer, we have source to settle process. 
In supplier management, you get SAP Ariba Supplier Lifecycle and Performance. Mars Yunus, our SAP Ariba SLP expert, talked about it in depth. You can always find the recording. Uh, in today's session, we will be focusing SAP Ariba sourcing, which falls under SAP uh, strategic sourcing portfolio. Then we have supply chain, we have procurement and financial supply chain activities, which are which we will be discussing in our future uh, webinars. So what are the few numbers, what are the few value proposition for SAP Ariba? How SAP source to pay, what are the SAP source to pay value levers and how we get advantage from SAP Ariba? So if we talk about trading partner order to cash, we have seen that 69 to 83% reduction in supplier onboarding cycle time. So before SAP Ariba, it was taking a lot of time and with the help of SAP Ariba, specifically from SAP supplier life sector and performance, you got 69 to 83% reduction in supplier onboarding. Then we have seen fewer compliance and risk management up to 36 to 48%. Then there was a 50 to 70% faster transaction cycle for buyers and suppliers. So payment was happening very quickly with the help of SAP Ariba, suppliers were getting, uh, you know, their POs online. They were uh, uploading their invoices online with the help of SAP Ariba P2P. We have observed 50 to 70 percent trans uh, faster transaction cycle for buyer and suppliers. Then, if we go specifically for source and contract, so with the help of sourcing and contracting, we have seen four to 15 percent average unit price reduction, which is a huge chunk. So for every 500 million spent, you uh, we observed 1 million in saving. Then there was a 20 million contractual leakage before SAP Ariba, which was the total of 1 billion. And with SAP Ariba contracts, those problems get solved. Then for plan and forecast, we have seen different numbers, which are 4 to 12% lower day in inventory, 5 to 15% inventory write-offs, which help procurement department achieve their goals more effectively and efficiently. Then we have observed 13 to 36% lower rev loss due to stock outs. So, you know, you have not yet received the items and, you know, stock prices changing, dollar, cha dollar prices changing and everything is changing. So with the help of SAP Ariba, you can forecast all those problems better than for buying and delivery 3% improvement in uh, project completion on budget, 20 million contractual leak, leakage per 1 million of uh, spend. And then for invoicing and payment, we have 2 to 3 million saving per 1 billion of target, and then 1 to 2% reduction in external workforce cost. So these are the few numbers that are the value levers for SAP Ariba. These, because of these number, SAP Ariba is a market leader now. And then we have observed 40 to 50% operational cost reduction due to the efficiency gains throughout the procurement process. And then with SAP Ariba, you get uh, analytical and intelligence abilities, which helps you uh, in 27 to 36% lower analysis and reporting cost. So you don't have to buy a different solution for different reporting. With SAP Ariba, you get inbuilt reporting, which definitely saves you in a longer run. And then we have 19 to 30% less time spent by IT on design and integration and integration per ERP. So SAP Ariba is an integratable solution with your any ERP. It's a cloud solution. You don't have to worry about your infrastructure. You don't have to worry about you know setting your servers in one office, dedicating one room for specific servers or XYZ items. So with SAP Ariba cloud solution, you get all these benefits. So now we discussed about different portfolios, different solutions of SAP Ariba. We discussed about what are the value proposition of SAP Ariba. Now we are gonna go in depth and talk about SAP Ariba sourcing. So SAP Ariba sourcing is an intelligent and dynamic sourcing platform, which help many organizations to manage their spends. With the help of SAP Ariba sourcing, supplier profile management was very quick and easy. So let's say you have a supplier database in your organization. Someone from your supplier database left. So for example, you might have one, one XYZ organization registered with yourself in your existing system. 
and they have like four or five POC associated with that specific organization. Someone leave that organization. You manually have to maintain that. With SAP Ariba, all your supplier profile management are very quick and easy. You don't have to worry about who is the part of the organization who is not. They supply themselves can manage their POCs and that without having any charges. With SAP Ariba, you get easy sourcing capabilities. It's a, a visit based process. You just have to click next, next, next. All the information are pre populated. You just need to adjust the information and then boom, you get your RFP. Then it's compliant through your workflows, all your procurement best practices, all your existing practices. If you want to create a new practices, all your practices are embedded in SAP Ariba. And every user who is doing procurement in your organization are compliant through that. With sourcing event support from SAP Ariba, even if you are creating an RFP and auction, SAP Ariba is always available with you to give you the support on that specific event. What are the best practices? What have you done wrong? What are the few auctionable items? What are the few RFP items? So the support stays with you throughout your duration of SAP. And then with SAP Ariba sourcing, you all obviously get advanced negotiation type, which is which starts from RFI, RFP, and then goes to auction. Even with the help of SAP Ariba, you not you don't only always have to buy things, you can always sell items using forward auction abilities of SAP Ariba. So now let's talk about the process of SAP Ariba. So now you are currently maybe using an Oracle or Microsoft Dynamics or maybe SAP ERP, maybe using S4 HANA or maybe any type of ERP you are currently using. Your SAP Ariba can get integrated with any ERP. So let's start from here. If you see there, I'm just going to take an example for SAP ERP. So let's assume you have an SAP S4 HANA or other ERP. Your ERP gets integrated with SAP Ariba solutions, which is either sourcing or contract or supply lifecycle performance or buying any solution of SAP Ariba can get integrated with your ERP. You don't have to worry about changing any landscape of your ERP. It's built in integration and then Ariba is integrated with supplier network. So now you want to procure anything. You want to buy laptops. So your IT department created a requisition that they want to buy laptops. That requisition get converted into the RFQ. That RFQ travels from your existing landscape, your existing ERP and falls under SAP Ariba. In SAP Ariba, events get created against that RFQ. It's the prerogative of a sourcing manager to decide if it's either gonna be an RFP or if it's gonna be an auction. So let's say in this case, uh, the requisite, the sourcing manager decided that this requisition gonna be a RFP. So the, they get the RFP get created. RFP contains all your bidding rules, all your you know dynamically time changing rules uh, for how long this RFP will be open, how long RFP can get response, how long suppliers can submit response, who will be responding, and X Y Z. That event then are integrated with. SAP Ariba discovery. You create a posting that anyone from the world who can provide me with the laptop can become a part of my RFP, can submit the price, and I will evaluate them based on different constraints, different criteria, different scoring mechanism. SAP Ariba helps you with that as well. Then it goes to internal approval. You decided to publish your RFP. Your sourcing manager decided to publish your RFP. Your uh, procurement manager will have to approve it. If there's uh, any approval at the start, at the end, at the middle, at any moment, all those approval can be catered through SAP Ariba. Once approved, event got published, supplier received the invitation from an email that XYZ organization have invited you to participate in XYZ event. So what is event? Event is basically RFP on which you will be submitting price as a supplier and we will be getting price as a buyer. Then you monitor your RFP throughout the duration of the responses. Suppliers submit their bids, supplier place their bids, you evaluate supplier based on their responses. You give them grades. Once they are graded, 
you go and award the suppliers. So now awarding suppliers is not difficult. So maybe you are procuring 200 items, you are sourcing 200 items. Now you don't have to worry about you know, uh, evaluating each item separately. With SAP Ariba, all those items get evaluated with a single click. You just have to score those participant responses. Once you have scored, you can uh, award supplier based on the higher number of scores. You can award supplier based on the best price. You can award supplier even based on the minorities that the, if the supplier is run by the minorities, you can award them as well. By just single click in SAP Ariba. Supplier receives the notification that they have been awarded and the PO gets created in your ERP, either it's P and Oracle, either it be an SAP or any ERP, the PO gets created in your ERP automatically. And then that PO goes out to the supplier, they submit, they give you everything. And to discuss more about the PO, we have a next session planned tomorrow. And then with throughout the process, you can always have event report. We have observed that there's a 26 to 36% reduction in the in, uh, in the analytical part and the reporting part with SAP Ariba, that's how you get reports throughout your SAP Ariba. And then there can be many follow-on events. If you have created one auction, you, you want to go multi-stage with the help of SAP Ariba, you can always go multi-stage. So this is the uh, process flow of basic SAP Ariba integrated solution. So if you have any question at any, any moment, I would again encourage you to type those questions into the chat box and we will get back to you at the end of the session. Now, some more functional details of SAP Ariba. When you buy SAP Ariba, you get modern dashboards. There are actionable tiles available. If you see here in this picture, you can see different actionable tiles. This specific tile is giving you the information about the sourcing project happened in your organization. This is giving you the, uh, the visibility on your tasks available in your system. This is giving you the visibility on event status. So these are the all actionable tiles. You just simply click on one tile and it will give you the information about how many RFPs happening in your system. How many RFPs created by you are live right now. How many RFPs have received the response. So all those things you can just simply go to the tile and system will give you the information about it. It's a very interactive user experience. Uh, SAP spent a lot of time, did a lot of R&D, gather uh, information from human and made a human interactive machine. So SAP Ariba is an example of HIC. There is a powerful universal search. It's exactly like Google, but for your sourcing capabilities, your sourcing events and everything. So maybe you have created any event in which you have uh, source a Dell laptop and you have created that back in like 2018. If you go onto the search bar and simply click Dell, system will show you that specific event that you created in 2018 in which you sourced a Dell laptop. So it's that powerful. In the, in the search feature, you can always search based on the uh, different constraints like for which region you have done the sourcing, for which department you have done the sourcing, who was the sourcing manager, who was the approver, uh, who did what on all the constraints you can get a very optimized and very accurate search result with data visualization you get a faster report engine analysis uh, a speed of a hana is embedded in sap ariba uh, it's a pro progressive disclosure as you use sap ariba the data visualization get better and better the impact impact of SAP Ariba on your cost, quality, and performance is huge. With SAP Ariba sourcing capabilities, we have seen 4 to 14% lower uh, reduction. We have seen the reduction in the cost of the supplier. When, we, when they, be, they compete with each other through an auction, we have seen that they are tend to decrease their prices. At the end of the screen, we have an auction monitor in which we will discuss how supplier have reduced their prices from a very higher number to a very low number. With SAP Ariba award optimization, you get a decision support. With uh, RFX and uh, auction management, you get all sort of RFI, RFP, RFQ functionality. You, If you want to use envelopes in SAP Ariba, you get that. If you want to have a sealed environment in which you won't be able to see the response, you get that. If you want supplier to see all the responses of all the suppliers and compete on that, you get that with SAP Ariba. 
SAP Ariba has an integrated customer support. Throughout the SAP Ariba, you don't have to worry about going to any partner to get the support. With SAP Ariba, you get the support from SAP Ariba itself. With Sourcing Support Desk, you always go to them. They give you the event day management. They give you the best practices expertise. So all this impacts on your cost, quality, and performance heavily. We have even observed people creating RFP within under five minutes with the help of SAP Ariba and supplier using it more effectively and efficiently than submitting a response via email or any other way. Then, then with SAP Ariba sourcing, you get free SAP Ariba integrated supplier discovery, which is a platform with the help of that you get to discover new source of supplier. Right now, there are 7.9 plus million plus suppliers are registered from 190 countries who can give you a lot of points. In the next slide, we will talk about what are the suppliers, supplier base available for specific items. But with the help of SAP Ariba discovery, which you get integrated with your SAP Ariba sourcing, uh, you can find new source of suppliers. Uh, if you want to award your business uh, or you want to onboard new suppliers, you can always go on SAP Ariba Discovery. There are a 4.03 million targeting trading partner available on SAP Ariba Discovery. Every 5.4 seconds, a new company join on SAP Ariba Discovery and provide you different things. If even in Pakistan, if you search for Pakistan supplier on SAP Ariba, there's a huge number of suppliers already registered on your SAP. So if you are do doing deal with some XYZ supplier, there might be an uh, available, they might be available on SAP Ariba discovery as of today. So if we talk about material-based supplier availability on Ariba discovery, so if we search synthetic rubber on SAP Ariba discovery, we can find 12,000 plus suppliers who can provide us an item in Pakistan or more specifically in Lahore. So 12,000 plus suppliers are available for synthetic rubber. For carbon black, we have 3,000 plus suppliers who can provide us the carbon black in Karachi. We have silica for silica sand, 2,000 plus items. For natural rubber, we have 26,000 plus suppliers are available. And for limestone, we have 9,000 plus suppliers. And the list goes on. Even if we go, if we want to buy a webcam, and in our existing supplier database, we have like five to seven suppliers. If we go SAP Ariba Discovery, we will make that number multiply by 1,000. So if we have five supplier, there's gonna be 5,000 suppliers at least available on SAP Ariba Discovery, which you get definitely free from with uh, SAP Ariba sourcing. It's a very uh, key solution, a very beneficial uh, module that you get with SAP Ariba sourcing. And you can all drastically update your supplier database with SAP Ariba Discovery. You don't even have to worry about onboarding because they always provide their certificate and different thing. And SAP take the liberty to evaluate them on their own. We have talked about SAP Ariba uh, process. So this is one more SAP Ariba sourcing process. We will quickly go through it with SAP Ariba sourcing. You can identify sourcing opportunities and suppliers and build your pipeline. You, with that pipeline, with that sourcing opportunity, you can always create a sourcing project or an event. With SAP Ariba sourcing expert support and uh, help desk, you get event day management. So your event is live for four days. You don't have to monitor them. SAP support is always here to monitor those. Once you publish the uh, RFP, supplier review your RFP, supplier review your auction and submit your response accordingly. And then you receive all your bids electronically. So when we talk about bids, it's not just a number. It can be a PDF. It can be an Excel format response. It can be any diagram. So one of our client is using AutoCAD and they share diagrams and they get diagrams in their response as well. With the help of SAP Ariba, you can get those as well. Then you can grade and evaluate your supplier response. There are pre-grading available as well. So for example, you have asked supplier to select something from drop now. What's the warranty period? One year, two year, three year, four year, five year. So if they have selected five year, they get five point. They have selected three year, they get three point automatically. This functionality is thoroughly available in SAP Ariba. Then we have supplier award and notification. We are, uh, with the award and notification, you can simply award your supplier by one click 
even if you are sourcing 200 items and then the notification goes out to the supplier and supplier uh, get ready and start preparing the items you sourced and then at the end or throughout the process you always get event analysis which supplier submitted the response which does not submit the response why they didn't submit the response what was the initial price what was the change price what was the leading price what was the price we awarded every event analysis you get throughout the duration of your event even at the end at the start during middle but it's as you start using a cp reba it progressed dynamically this is the console for auction this was the one auction conducted by one of our client for colored printers and copier if you see these are the suppliers that submitted the quotes so lk mro limited they submitted the quote at 7 14 pm on this date at of 3670 euros and now if we see they decrease their price after every few minutes and the last price they quoted was 3375 euros so there was a big almost 300 dollars difference available uh, from their initial price to their last price so this this 300 dollars is just for one color printer and copy if you multiply it with hundreds and thousands of color for photocopier and printer you get the best price so jc and emia started their price from 3550 dollars and they decreased their price at 300 uh, 3341 euros on the left side you can see the graph so the pr price started around 3750 and decreased gradually during the with the respect to time and reached almost 3341 euro and even if the time allows they can always decrease their, their price uh and even they are willing to you know compress all their margins just to win that specific tender so with the cp ariba you get that competitive auction monitoring available so you can monitor supplier can get see the graph supplier can see if they are leading or not what the price they quoted last what's the revised price you are seeing what was the first price supplier quoted what's the last price supplier quoted what's the winning price who is the leading supplier so here it shows lead bid which is 3341 uh, on the right you can see lead supplier which is jc and emia so it gives you in that simple console you can see a lot of information you can see graph you can see participant participant participations and then you know with respect to time how prices are decreasing and everything this is a real-time report that you get with the auction it's uh, it shows the number of supply invited and the number of supplier participated it also shows the number of bids it shows a bid graph visual representation of auction result uh, so if you have any historical price, what was the supplier A price? If you have any reserve price, this red line shows the reserve price and supplier A quoted above your reserve price. Supplier B, C, D quoted below your reserve price. They started at the same point, but they gradually decreased their price. So the, this is a live bidding environment. This is a, just a screenshot of uh, one real-time report that is available in your auction. So SAP Ariba is much more than a price. Uh, so for example, you procured, you are sourcing an office supply and the supplier quoted you $510. That's just a price for that specific item. But we, we identified that SAP Ariba is much more than a price. If we go next, we can always get an extra cost, which is a delivery cost. So the initial price is $510 but there was a $12 delivery cost. So the total price became $522. If we want to add any formula with the help of SAP Reba, we can add that. So that if delivery is more than five days, add 1% inventory cost into the total, which will be bare by supplier. Or you can either say, if you deliver that in three days, you will get an award for you know $10 or $20 or 10% of the price that you have you can set as many formulas as you want as many scenarios that you have in your mind you can address it using sap ariba sourcing then with sap ariba sourcing you get the sourcing capabilities so for example uh, you know if if the supplier can give you warranty 
for one month or no warranty at all it they are automatically gonna get zero point if supplier can give you warranty for two years they will get five points if supplier can give you warranty for 10 years they get 10 points so you can score your participant response and then this factors play in who's the winner of the auction so it's not just a price you don't just go with the lowest price you go with many more constraints while awarding your suppliers while issuing a PO and with SAP Ariba you address them then if you have any technical drawings available in your system if supplier have submitted any technical drawing any any technical proposal or uh, maybe a technical contract or something you can always send it out for to the legal so for example they have shared a contract with you in a technical proposal you want to share it to the legal you can do that using sap ariba legal will review that and revert back to you using sap ariba they can score the uh, response they can review the drawings and score those drawings from one to ten they can uh, uh, score all the technical proposal from one to ten all the reviewers exist in the system so you as a sourcing manager not only uh, are the custodian of this specific rfp there are many custodians that are involved in that specific RFP. and then at the end you award the supplier based on different constraints so for example here we award analyze price against score and assign 25 percent to the incumbent those suppliers who we've been using previously and minimum three suppliers so that that's one scenario that we can use if we want to go with the 100 percent award to the new supplier we can do that if we want to give 50 percent to the existing supplier and 50 percent to the new supplier we can do that as well so there are many scenarios that come in play so now uh, let's go in detail and talk about uh, the system on the system so we have prepared a short demo for you let's view that So at this moment, I would encourage everyone to write any question. If they have any question re regarding system, if they have any query regarding SAP Ariba, any module, please feel free to write those in the question panel and we will get back to you at the end of the session. Right. So let's assume you are using SAP S4HANA or any SAP ERP or any ERP as for this example. So this is the one screen of SAP ERP. This is a create RFQ screen available in your ERP. Here you will select a type of RFP, enter the detail, RFQ date, code deadline date, uh, what are the purchasing unit, purchasing group and everything. Once you have added all these details, you will click next. Now at this screen, you will add your item. So you, for example, you want to buy a slitting blade and you want it in a 10, uh, the quantity for that specific item is 10. So that what I'm doing in my ERP. I just simply selected here, added a vendor here. So this is, I added a vendor and simply saved my RFQ. Once I saved my RFQ, you can see the RFQ created under a number 6001000208. So this is the RFP that gets created in my ERP. Someone from my sourcing department created that RFP. Now I am a user for SAP Ariba. I don't know what RFP they created or what sort of RFP that I received, what the, was the name of that RFP or XYZ. I simply go into my SAP Ariba. I go to search. And so here I am searching with the number. You can search with anything, any, you know, so even if here you can write slitting blade and they will give you the result. Also, you will be getting all sort of notifications when RFQ gets created in the ERP. You search that RFQ. Here you can find the RFQ created here as a sourcing request. You open that RFQ. So this sourcing request was automatically created in SAP Ariba. They have created RFQ in their ERP. It's an integrated environment. That specific number comes automatically into SAP Ariba. Here you go into the documents and you see there are a sourcing request item. You go into the task. There are many tasks that you need to perform. You have uh, two incomplete tasks you prepare a sourcing request you complete that you approve you send your sourcing request for the approval it's get approved and it shows a green tick here that it's approved now 
now you go into the documents here you can see that now your sourcing request your rfq is approved now you can create a sourcing project you click on that sourcing project you go open and you enter all sort of details for your sourcing project we're going to make it a quick project it's going to be an rfp it's not a test project its origin is an external system we so the, the the concept of the pr was in sap in your erp that goes converted into the rfq and now we are sending here all the information in that specific pr goes into the rfq and comes in sap ariba and every item of that rfq is automatically fetched from your erp you don't have to rework or you don't have to create anything else and the approvals are based on that specific item you see all your details your company code your purchasing organization your purchasing group payment terms everything that you added in your rfq is added here as well so we go and click create these are the few timing rule bidding rules currency rule market feedback that we discussed in detail i will just simply go next i will add few observers here uh, if there are any uh, global observer if there are any administrator there's um, there are more than one project owner i can add everything here i go next on this screen i will add two suppliers or i can also create a supplier research posting on this specific screen and all the suppliers in the world who can provide me with the slitting plates can become a part of this rf i go next in the content you see the slitting blade slitting blade in the 10 uh, quantity is automatically added here i don't have to add it once again i will just simply go next and i will publish my rfp so now the rfp is published and suppliers might be submitting the response on the back if i come here this was the rfp that i created cfa slitting blade it's now in a pending selection so the response time has been ended supplier have submitted the response this was the overview of the rfp that i have populated i will simply go into the content in the content i can see that asp corporation and bmx corporation both participated for the slitting blade the extended price for is 120 uh, is 12,000, 1200 US dollar for from ASP Corporation and uh, 1150 from BMX Corporation. The unit price is $115 from BMX and from ASP 120. If you see here, there's one and two. So the system is intelligent enough to give us the overview that this is the lead bit. They are standing on the first position. This, they are standing on the second position. I simply go into the scenario tab. I go create and click on optimize scenario or a manual scenario. Here I will select select who to award. What was the name of my award? If I want to create a contract, if I want to create a purchase order, or if I want to create a schedule agreement, I can select from here. I will select purchasing order, and then I will select standard purchase order. I want to award my slitting blade to either one bmx who is on the first position or asp on the second position or i can always split award 50 50 or 30 70 or 25 75 percent from to bmx and asp for this case i have selected bmx and i will simply submit for award here i can select if supplier will get the notification for the award or uh, those supplier who didn't able to win the prize will that they get the notification i will select here and go done and now the status change to complete. I will simply click action and send code to an external system. System will give me the notification that code was successfully sent to the external system. Now, if I go back to my external system, I can see that the PO is automatically created and the net price is 115, which who was the supplier and every information is available on this specific PO. I will simply have to, you know, print that PO or submit that to my supplier. So this was a demo, a little bit of a quick demo for SAP Ariba sourcing integrated process. If you have any question, please uh, write your question to the chat so we can get back to you uh, after at the end. So back to the slide. So these are few of our clients that are available in the MENA region. Uh, for Pakistan, we have done uh, implementation in uh, at Pell, at UEP, at Affinity, Jazz, uh, uh, in Dubai, we are doing our integration at Jazzle. Angro is using uh, Angro is using SAP Ariba. K Electric is using SAP Ariba. These are the few big names who are using SAP Ariba worldwide. There are they keep on updating on regular basis. The Paul T for an instance is using SAP Ariba. 
Jizzle Engineering and Contracting LLC is uh, a Dubai-based contracting and construction company. They opted for SAP Ariba to bring consistency and set best practices for their procurement and sourcing. Uh, with the help of SAP Ariba, they increase their process efficiency. Then we have uh, Tapal T, uh, which with the help of SAP Ariba integration with S4 HANA, uh, bring uh, transparency and monitor full details for analysis to take procurement decisions. Uh, they have an integrated environment to achieve consolidated hub. They accelerated their supplier identification, onboarding and sourcing and improve communication to lower cost and simply simplify contracting. Then we have Affinity who opted for SAP Ariba sourcing to uh, source better globally. Uh, they decided to do something positive. They decided to go green and for that they opted for SAP Ariba solutions. Uh, Jazz decided to go green they were using sap they were doing contracts for from every supplier with every supplier with the help of sap ariba contracts management solution they brought freshness to their contracting cycle uh, they they enhance their sourcing capabilities by having a shorter contracting cycle at jazz thousands of people are using sap ariba regularly they are creating sap they are creating their contracts on sap ariba legal is reviewing their contracts on sap ariba uh, compliance team is a part of sap ariba every every team is a part of sap ariba and they are providing their feedback on sap uh, contract using sap ariba contracts which is an integrated solution with an oracle then we have UEP where we implemented SAP Ariba sourcing and we implemented supplier lifecycle and performance. Uh, UEP uh, opted SAP Ariba supplier lifecycle performance to improve their supplier onboarding to get this, uh, better visibility on supplier KPIs, uh, better visibility on supplier performance. They opted for SAP Ariba sourcing to, uh, you know, uh, to go cloud. Uh, to identify a new source of suppliers. They were using a sealed build environment and suppliers keep on coming on their premises. They cut that cost and now with SAP Ariba sourcing, uh, they are doing all your their sourcing and with SAP Ariba supplier lifecycle and performance, they are man managing their suppliers performances and all the KPIs and all the life cycle during duration throughout the SAP Ariba period. And then at Park Electron Limited, we transform their sourcing with the help of SAP Ariba sourcing as well. So now uh, I will take all the questions. Uh, I'm receiving few questions and I will try to respond uh, to those questions. And if you want to get in touch with us, this is uh, Javed Iqbal's email address. You can always write him and we, you can always schedule him. Uh, you can always write him an email and schedule a demonstration. You can always get in touch with me with this email address. And we have a Sarmad Anwar with us on a call. You can always get in touch with the Sarmad Anwar. He's a senior uh, sales executive. He can always uh, give you an insight on SAP Ariba as well. To schedule a demo, you can always write us on this email and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So let's get a few questions. So Sabah has already shared the list of questions with me. I'm just going in those questions. So the question here is, uh, can we integrate SAP Ariba with Oracle? Yes, we can integrate SAP Ariba with Oracle. Uh, we have done this at uh, PMCL, Jazz. They are using SAP uh, Ariba with the contract, SAP Ariba contract with their uh, Oracle. Then the question is, um, the second question is, can we score participant responses? Yes, we can score participant responses and based on those score, we can always award them. Uh, can we keep track of the documents uh, of related to our RFP? Yes, we can keep uh, all the documents uh, in our, when we create a full project, all the documents come here and uh, we can keep 
track of all the documents, all the changes that are happening with SAP Ariba desktop file synchronization option. So there, I see there are a few more questions and uh, we will get back to you on all those questions. All right. There are a few more questions popping up, so I'm just looking at all of them. So yeah, they are very interesting question, and uh, I think so. Uh, we will uh, these questions answer to all these questions will take time, so we will be taking the liberty to writing you a personal email and answering to all those questions. And we have an upcoming webinar, the frictionless entry for S4 to the Ariba network, digital supplier uh, network. Hamza Ghani, our senior SAP Ariba digital supplier network consultant, will be uh, the speaker for their specific webinar. He will be discussing uh, the agenda for their specific webinar would be overview of digital supplier network. Uh, what are the businesses business challenges that gave rise to the need for Ariba DSN? How Ariba DSN will add value to your procurement cycle and much more. So uh, stay tuned. We will be sharing an invitation shortly for this webinar. If you are interested, do join. Hamza Ghani Qureshi will be speaking and he knows when he talks. Uh, so that's it from my side. Over to you, Sabha. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we'll, you'll get the recording of this session after some time, and also you'll get the invitation for another session uh, by end of today. Okay, please join us for the next session also. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.